Well, it's project day aboard Boogaboo again. Today, I am going to be installing a USB um, cigarette lighter type of fitting, which doesn't take up much more space than a cigarette lighter would, and it should be a real simple install if I have the right size drill bit. Anyways, this thing was ordered through Amazon, came in a bag like this. It fits in a box that small. And it was $23 Canadian, I think. And the amazing thing about Amazon is it was ordered Wednesday evening, and this was sitting at our front door yesterday afternoon, Friday afternoon. So a day and a half from the time that the order went in to actually being at our front door, which is amazing. And it was free shipping too, right? Through Amazon Prime? Um, yeah. Honey? Yeah. So 23 bucks Canadian, which is probably like, I don't know, around 18 bucks US, I guess. I don't know. It was ordered off the Amazon.ca website, so I didn't see the US price. But just a simple little device, which should be able to install it simply as well. Now remember, this is not a do-it-yourself video. This is a how-I-did-it video. Now just a heads up, this thing came with zero instructions. It came with that box saying it's uh, made in China. And this bag and nothing else. So you'll have to refer to the website, to the actual listing site on Amazon to get any more information. Um, but again, it's real simple. Just drill a hole this size and connect the positive and negative leads and it should be working. Now the uh, one of the things that I liked about this is that it has two USB outlets plus there is a voltage indicator in the middle. So we'll see how that looks. So here we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just test for power at the existing cigarette lighter outlet. Now I'm going to be taking the power right off of the existing cigarette lighter outlet. Now the only time that we've used that one in the past is I have a little tiny inverter which I plug into that and I then plug in my USB plug to charge the phone while we're underway. And so this new one is it has two uh, USB outlets right on it. So that's why I'm gonna take the power off that existing lighter outlet and maintain that one, leave it as is, and then just run this one separately because chances are they will never be both used at the same time. So it's not gonna be overloading that circuit or having a problem that way. So what you just saw there, I was just confirming the voltage, making sure that there's uh, enough power, uh, that there is power coming off that, those lines, and then I'm gonna play with the new one. And this thing is just gonna go together, just drill a hole, that correct size, and then put that little nut back on it, and that's gonna fasten it in place. I just want to make sure that thing was actually going to come to life, that new device, before I committed to drilling any holes. So now that I've confirmed that, it's time to get the drill out. So I have my appropriately sized hole saw. I already marked where I'm going to be placing it and then uh, drill, drill out the hole. Now I had initially anticipated that that panel right there which is, you know, the factory install where a bunch of the reset buttons are at the helm, was that it was going to uh, be plastic. And it wasn't. <laughs> it's metal, aluminum, I think it is. And so that drill bit was fighting to get through there, but it worked. It pooched the, the drill bit, but that's okay. It's just a cheap one anyways. So as you can see, just a quick pilot hole first before uh, running the hole saw through. So note to self, if you're gonna be doing this on your own boat, uh, just make sure you have the appropriate hole saw. I should have got, had I known, I would have got one that was designed for metal. 
Now all those little pieces they see flying, I have the camera kind of upside down so nothing is flying towards my eyes or my face. If you do this yourself, always remember to wear proper eye protection. So as the rain returns, I'll try to talk over it as you can see, she's powered up and she's reading right now 13.6 volts, but according to the instructions that I found online, um, this will only draw, draw 0.3 milliamps. So I'm just going to plug in one of the USBs so it's hard to see, looking upside down, oops, that's backwards, it's not breaking on the first day. So USB. To my telephone so that is exactly what I was after something that we can charge at least the phones and you know even my uh, USB um, enabled chargers for the GoPro camera and whatever else while we're underway um, as you know when we cruise we're you know usually on the water for two three four five hours at a time straight so that's a perfect opportunity to charge the devices while we're moving as opposed to the other way that I used to do was plug in a small inverter that went into that cigarette lighter which worked fine but it only had one USB uh, device that we could plug into it because it was just you know an AC receptacle and then I would plug in the little charging cube block that came with the uh, the old iPhone so again it worked fine but we can only charge one device at a time so between anchor girl and i we would switch the phones while we we're driving so at least this now gives us two outlets plus the, still the third potential going through the inverter on that uh, cigarette lighter um, which which will work great it'll charge the phones in rapid time look at that already went up to 88 percent in just the last minute sitting here talking to you so it's gone up one percent um and then the, the camera batteries as needed so I'm happy with that so I will leave a link down in the description to the Amazon uh, site the Amazon vendor and you can check it out for yourself um, all in all uh, it's an easy install the biggest uh, time consuming element was drilling through that plate because I thought it was plastic but it was metal and the drill bit that I was using was probably not designed for cutting through metal but it did the job anyways so from a cloudy rainy day on boogaboo we're still charging we got power i hope you found that interesting and look forward to more of my how i did it videos coming up i got a few more projects that i'm going to do uh, i've got other stuff more stuff coming up so keep an eye on the channel till then cheers